most painful things in life is to be ignorant of the tools that can help you achieve better and at some point you begin to realize that you are performing lesser than what you can actually do it's all about information it's all about connection it's all about networking being exposed to the right tools and that is what technology does for you on tech bridge that is what we're discussing today i'm sure you from your life today and i welcome you to tech bridge today Technology provides benefits such as collaboration, efficiency, communication, and help. And that is why we're talking about what can impact your life positively today. My name is Tony Alagoke. You're welcome to TechBridge. Okay, so on that note, we just want to pick it from this angle that at some point, I've been in some situations that I had to go on the search engine, Google precisely, mm. and I'm, I was trying to search up something. And somebody came and said that, how did you get that? Because I've searched for that same thing, I couldn't get it. So it's all about um, how you search, and that is what we are looking at today. You see, the, when the search engine came about, people were like, what is this engine all about? But mm. may I tell you that these days we have people looking at different things on different platforms for different purposes. Mm -hmm. And that is why we have engines that can help you. You know, it's a global village. Yeah, it is, you have really. so many things you're searching mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. You have so many things you're researching on. Yeah. And uh, well, some of them are killing one another. I'm talking about <laughs> the, the engines. Yeah, so it would be good to talk about this thing so that people can be more efficient. Yes, and just for emphasis sake, we know that there are a lot of search engines. It's only that we have probably top three, and we're just picking one of them today. We are focusing on Google today. Google, yeah. so some, some people, that is debatable, because some people will tell you that Google is not the leading one. Well, in this part of the world, we can it say. It is. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. Of course, we have Bing and we have other ones. We have Bing, we have Yahoo, we have so many of them, actually. Of them. Yeah. So today we are talking about something that uh, if you have to go on any search engine, especially Google this time, and you need to search for specifics, specifics rather, talking about the type of file, talking about the exact um, item you're looking for, mm. talking about a specific extension, mm. there are better ways to do it. Talking about specific site, okay. instead of looking at probably popping up a lot of results that you start looking for which one is the one you want, uh, there are better ways to do and it. And don't forget that time is money. Yes. So the more reason why you have to have your tools ready so that at least you can save some time, mm -hmm. you can be more efficient. So yeah. when we talk about uh, search, or search engine, we should look at a better way of achieving good results. Yes, and that is what technology is all about. Mm. We always emphasize on this show that technology must work for you and not against you. It must help you save time and not waste your time. So keep your fingers crossed. Please stay with us. After this break, we continue. Many thanks for staying with us on Tech Bridge on Lagos Television. We told you earlier on that we'll be talking about how you can have a better experience using search engine. And our focus today is on Google. Oh, it's on really. Google actually because that has been the leading engine. At least in this part of the in world. In this part of the world. And uh, it, they've actually made that a major business. Mm -hmm. They focus so much on and They were not distracted. So because of that, they have a lot of features, a lot, lot of, of tools, tools add-ons, and other yes. stuff. Yeah. So Just it's good to talk about it. <laughs> so you know that it's actually possible for you to be specific about whatever you want to search for. You don't have to have all the results that you don't need, really. Let's put it in perspective. I want to search for Jaguar. Mm -hmm. And of course, there is a kind of vehicle that goes by that name. Mm -hmm. And of course, there is a kind of animal that goes by that name. That's good. Now, I want to search for the kind of animal that goes by that name from probably, I want to see the different species, species that rather that I can have probably from Africa, from Asia, from the rest of them. So all I need to do is to type um, Jaguar, then put plus sign, then put animal there. So with that, you have exempted Jaguar car. Exactly. So you've been focusing on Jaguar animals. animals. So you, can, you, can, you can go a step further, if I'm right, okay. either by adding plus Nigeria. Plus, so that means America. it's going to be like Jaguar in Nigeria, in Nigeria. or okay. probably in Africa. So with that, you have exonerated all those um, 
barrage of <laughs> things you don't want. Yes. You have been specific about what you want. Mm -hmm. So at times, probably you discover that you want to search for something. Though Google has a kind of a tool that localizes your search, really, mm. it's confirmed that if you search for a particular product here in Nigeria, and you search for that same item, probably when you are in Ghana, you are likely to have different results pop up. Don't forget, they, 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 they call it work with uh, the cookies. Yes. So the cookies specify your location first. So it works with that and gives you and gives you the results. absolute results based on your location. So yeah. that is a good one because you've been able to specify the exact things you want. So Jaguar Anima, different from Jaguar Car. <laughs> <laughs> so you can also probably do that for Orange as well. Probably do that for let's say um, banks in Nigeria mm -hmm. or commercial banks, and you just want to exclude a particular one. You don't want a particular one to be in the results. Instead of putting plus this time, you put minus. So that's another option. Yes. The first one is plus. And the second the one? The second one is minus, yeah. meaning that I don't want that to appear. I want only this set except this, something like that. <laughs> so the second one is that you can actually search by file type. At times, let's say I want to search for Nigeria population, mm -hmm. or I want to search for 2019 election results. There could be 1,001 results around that. That could be in different formats, probably in Word, in PPT, that's PowerPoint, in, uh, let's say, PDF. Excel, PDF, yeah. But all I need at this time is probably the PDF. Mm. So uh, what do I do? You type the actual things you want. So probably 2019 election results in Nigeria, then put file type. PDF. Column. Do Do <laughs> <Dio. laughs> Yes, that's for documents. Dot Excel. That is XLS. Dot PPT. That's for PowerPoint. Absolutely. And, <laughs> and this is good for most people that are doing research because mm -hmm. I remember when I was graduating, I actually want a prototype, a model of what I can read mm. to guide my project, project. topic. So I, I was just searching, just searching mm -hmm. anyhow. But one particular day, somebody said, why not put the extension PDF the or the DOC yeah. so that you can have it as a document, you can mm -hmm. download it, you can read. Then you can now move further. Instead so, of going to other sites that has uh, all the articles. Don't that forget you are, you, 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 you are in the ocean. Hmm. You are in the ocean. So when you are searching for something, it will give you everything. But so, you can streamline what you want hmm. using the extension. Yes, and that saves you time and hmm. saves you the headache of scrolling through which one is it, which one is it. So there you have it. You can search, search by extension. Again, you search, you put the name of uh, the item you're searching for, probably 2019 general election results. Then you put file type, put a space before that time, file type, colon, then put the extension. If you're searching for PowerPoint extensions, you put PPT. If it is for PDF, it has to be PDF. <laughs> and if it's for documents, it has to be DOC. DOC. And if it's for Excel, it has to be XLS. So that way you have a specific resource popping up for you. Mm. So let's go to the third one here. That is talking about um, the fact that you can search for a particular result from a specific website. Absolutely. Of course, there are some sites that are kind of trusted more than others. Especially the sites with HTTPS. Yes, of course. Or sites that, that are actually, yeah, that is secure. Or sites that actually place value on their image. Mm -hmm. They don't just post anything. Yeah. Now, let's streamline it to a particular uh, website okay. or site name so when you want to see. search. Then let's see one of the credible ones around. So we pick Wikipedia. Wikipedia, you have so many of them. Wikipedia, you have Punch. Yes. You have, uh, well, I'm not advertising. <laughs> I have Lagos Television. Yes, we have Lagos Television. Absolutely. As well. yeah. yeah. So, so if you want to search based on the particular site, probably you, someone told you that there was a report on the particular site. Let's pick Wikipedia for now. There's a, a report on a, on Wikipedia, and you are trying to look for it. So instead of you just typing, let's say something happened sometimes last year when we had issues with our former Chief Justice of Nigeria. So not there. Water, not yeah. yeah. A lot of posts were all over the place from different websites, from different uh, media houses. And you want to verify. Yes. And you or want maybe to some, sure. somebody has given you the information that is on a particular yes. website. It's on Wikipedia yeah. this time. Yeah. So you want to go straight to Wikipedia and see the trial. You want to see the entire story from that place. All you need to do is probably type something like uh, on August trial. Then you put space, then site, put colon, Wikipedia. I, I, and the result you are going to get is all from Wikipedia. From, it so it will, takes you to that site. Anything and everything around on August trial on Wikipedia will just come straight. So instead of having multiples of um, different sites that will 
create a kind of uh, internet noise, what do we call that? <laughs> <laughs> so that you not go astray. <laughs> yes, so you can do that for Wikipedia or any other site you are sure of. Then the third one is that uh, you can search in title. Mm. It means that uh, probably you are not so sure of the title of the story you're looking for, but you have a concept of the story or the, the information you're trying to get. So let's pick, for instance, some years ago in South Africa, the ex wild we call it ex wild now, the former president really, mm -hmm. Jacob Zuma was involved with a lot of corruption issues and the rest of it. So probably we're not so updated sure. about the, the title then. or the topic. Yes. Yep. So you want to search in title. So all you need to do is do something like uh, Jacob Zuma, then you put in title, that is I-N-T-I-T-L-E. So that in title is a keyword. Yes. So Google has built that in title to search for anything mm -hmm. with like that pattern. an operator kind of. Absolutely. So you yep. put in title, then you put colon, then corruption. Corruption. As you can see on your screen, you see that uh, all the results you are going to get is all about Jacob Zuma. Zuma and about corruption. It won't talk about his marriage or that. It will just, talk about it. To just state every details <laughs> yes. about corruption, so, Jacob Zuma. So this helps when you are doing research, and like you said, it also helps when you are trying to find specific information within time, mm. without going to too many places to get it. In title is really, really effective, just like others, but it helps you in case you are not too sure, like you've said, yeah. you don't need to cram the topic or the title or the problem. You can coin it in your own word. Yes, yes. I will also remember that there was a time that uh, former President uh, Lucia Gombasojo was writing open letters to President Muhammad Bukhari. Open letters. Yes. So F Don't forget, open, open letter. letters, quote unquote. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to have a kind of a chronicle of many open letters that by he has former, written. Yes. <laughs> So instead of you searching all over, swimming across the ocean, you can be specific just using this operator. Abbasanjo, open letter to yes. president, in title. It will just list Abbasanjo in title. that in place. So it's really helpful. Then another one is that um, you can search for specific sentence. Remember the way Google works is that it's just going to pick your keywords. It's, it's not going to search by the exact sentence. It's an engine. For, it's yes. an engine filled with so many things. So mm -hmm. it will be looking for the one you are looking for. It will right. be looking for different pattern. Yes. It, it, it's just like uh, a robot working for you. So it takes cue from the number of words that you have in the search search window there. Mm. So, but this time, probably uh, an idiomatic expression is coming to your head and you can't really remember the completion, mm -hmm. and you just want to have or probably lyrics of some songs that you know, but you don't know the exact song, the entire thing, but, but you, you remember know, a line. Maybe a line, yeah. exactly. So should we so, go some way? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so you can use um, quotes. Mm -hmm. That means you fixed the, the, the actual word you the want. Yeah. yeah. So another vivid example is where you go something like, um, you're trying to give an expression of what happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And probably you heard what happens in Vegas, but you can't really pinpoints the completion part. So you want the exact what happens in Vegas. So you put that quote and unquote, and it brings out the exact thing for you, and you see the completion there. Every can detail, apply. every detail. Everything there. Yeah. So that is another one. Then also you can use uh, asterisk to complete sentences, to complete your expression as well. You, you know, this thing is actually um, a kind of pattern with even all other operating systems too. So if you're good in using those things, you should be good in using this. So you can transfer that knowledge to Ac actually, this as well. Actually, even if you're not good, as we're educating you now, you can pick it up because yeah. it will help you to be uh, effective and successful. Yes. And uh, you can even combine some of this stuff yes, together. Yes, they are combinable. Basically. Minus, yeah. plus, colon, in type two, five type, type, size. You can combine them so that you are sure of the results you want. Mm -hmm. And with that, you don't go in jungle or in ocean. You are able to get the result you want. Specific thing. Engine is very key. <laughs> and like we said in the intro, we say that it can become very painful when you are ignorant of the right tool to use to get the exact thing you want. You will see others doing it well, and you begin to feel like, why am I not getting it right? It's all about information. And it saves their time too. It saves time and better productivity as well. Yep. So still talking about uh, how to optimize, how to have better search experience, uh, we, we see that uh, at some point, 
we see this uh, fake news thingy all over the place and uh, it starts with pictures. Is this on time? All over the time. Okay. All the time. You can put it we that have way. fake news. We are <laughs> dealing with fake news. Mm -hmm. And the advent of social media, I won't say has not helped. Mm. But people use it negatively. Yes, they are leveraging on news. And there are so much side. commotions. People mm. carry fake news all around. Yeah. And so, one of the places it starts is with pictures. You see a picture. I think there was a time sometimes last year, somebody posted a picture that uh, um, robbery is going on on Lagos Ibadan Expressway and actually posted picture. Okay, he said that uh, Boko Haram were, our red were attacking at Lagos Ibadan Expressway. And okay. Posted a picture to that. People are in very, very not so good pictures, blood here and there. And someone posted immediately that this picture was used like four years ago wow. for something that happened probably in Rwanda or something. In another country yes, entirely. Yes, another country entirely. And if care is not taken, it can cause problem, mm -hmm. it can cause panic, yes. it can cause disharmony. In fact, it caused panic on that platform. I saw it and people were like, don't go this route, go to another route. And <laughs> were like, I was just like, can this be true? Oh. I wasn't so sure. Wow. But I didn't know this tool then. Now we have it. We have it. And it will help. Yes. It will curb the fake news. Mm -hmm. And the name of the tool is? It is actually talking about reverse image search. Mm. It means that for any picture that you find online, for any picture that you see and you are kind of uh, not so sure of the source of the picture, you can use reverse image search technology to verify. To verify. Yes. And to be sure that the information is fresh it's and relevant. Yes. It's true. Yes. And um, the name is? Uh, we can use a uh, thin eye. Thin, thin eye is one of them. Okay. Of okay. course, you can also go to labnol.org, rather, labnol.org. So when you have it, all you need to do is to upload the, the picture, picture onto question. that particular yes. site or app. Mm -hmm. Then it will give you all the details of what you need to know. Yes, it works in the way that as many sites that have used that picture before, it will pop them up. Mm. So if the picture has been ever used in any place and the person posted it to be something happening now, you should know that it is fake news. Wow, this yes. will really help in curbing fake yes, news. fake news, really. <laughs> because government has been doing so much mm -hmm. to really deal with fake news. So yes. this would be a tool to help yes. to curb it. Okay, so let's go to Twitter now. At some point we see that uh, we see a lot of uh, Twitter handles with plenty followers and they are posting information that are supposed to be genuine, but eventually we discover that they are, uh, do we say, a uh, clone of real Twitter handles. There was an example that was given. This man said he works for the presidency, according to the Twitter handle, and uh, said that uh, the presidency made a particular statement. So people started commenting. So one of the guys said that he, he checked the Twitter handle up with this tool I'm going to mention, that is uh, Fola.com. With Fola.com, you can see the date the Twitter handle was created, mm -hmm. the number of tweets that Twitter handle has made, the number of followers, the number of people following, and the rest of them. So he said he went through that Fola.com, and uh, what he found out was that that Twitter handle was created like less than 48 hours ago, can you and imagine? it had over 3,000 tweets. So how, how can that be? <laughs> Within 48 hours, yes. two days, and you have 40? Like over 3,000 tweets. <laughs> that can't be. So it means something was wrong with that account, uh, Twitter handle. That, that means they want to use it to defraud people, yes. or they want to spread fake news, it is, it or to specific. cause disharmony, mm -hmm. or to just deceive people. Yes. So with these uh, tools now, you can be sure that you can check, you can have detailed information, and you can desist from following. Yes, about Twitter handles. So I think these are the places that uh, you can help or have better experience when it comes to using search engines, when it comes to searching better, and when it comes to verifying information. To be sure I, that I, it is I'm true. so I'm so happy that the manufacturer or the developer of Google and other search engines mm -hmm. they keep coming up with new things that can help them. our world. Mm -hmm. Technology is actually to enhance and empower people, yes. but people are using it negatively. Mm -hmm. With this two now, I think we are getting it right. Well, I think uh, that is where we should wrap it up today. Many thanks for staying with us. We've talked about how to improve your search experience online using Google tools today, and we hope that you've got something. Many thanks for staying with us once again. On our social media platforms, you can connect with us. On YouTube, we are Tech Bridge LTV. And of course, on Facebook, we are Tech Bridge LTV as well. You can watch Lagos Television and this program using the TV Now app or Lagos Television mobile app. Remember that all of these tools are available for you to use. Many thanks for staying with us once again. I'm Sheyi Fumi Olatide. See you in the next episode. One thing is clear that with technology, you can never get it wrong. And that is why you should continue to watch Tech Bridge. We are signing out now. My name is Tony Lagoki. Bye.